Assalamu alaikum dear student welcome to modern programming language this is week 4 lecture number 1 today agenda is strength input and output statements when you are declaring string in java it is similar to the other programming you have to mention the data type in this case it is string then the string name which is str name equal to null okay so in this case we are uh, saving null into str name in the next line as you can see string str equal to welcome students okay so in str variable we are saving string which is welcome students okay in the next in the third line you can see another example like we can we are typed string str2 equal to hello if you want to print out the value of str2 it will display hello okay and if you want to display the str value so it will print out welcome students okay and similar if you want to print out this str name then it represent nothing size and length of a string so if you want to calculate the string size so in java it is very simple you can use the belton function to calculate the length and size of a string in this example in the first line I, I write that string str equal to welcome students so if we want to calculate the length or the size of this uh, string so we just simply uh, uh, type system dot out print it in then I will use that length method in Java so I will type the I will write the name of the variable which is str dot length and when I execute this program it will display 15 it's mean that welcome students is this 15 characters okay string libraries of methods string have many pre-made methods in Java okay we have mul we have a lot of mm, methods in java to calculate or to play with the strings the p of the the p of this is length equals substring like if you want to calculate the length of the string in this example as we discussed earlier we want to calculate the length of str string which is 15 in this example similar if you want to equal to strings so you can use equals statement equal methods okay similarly if you want to to execute substring from the string then you can use substring method and etc you can search at java string library okay comparing if statement are equal if you if you want to compare two statements or two strings in Java so do not write like this in the past sentence as I either write equal equal does not work okay so in Java this is not working in Java if you want to equal two strings we have to use that equals method okay like in this example we are writing string str2 that equals hello return true okay it will return true it means that this sentence is okay and if you want to type like this that str name that equal to str2 so it will return substrings if you want to extract substring from the string so you can do it with help of the substring methods okay in this example in the first line i declare a str name dot substring a comma b it's mean 
we have to mention the index of a string like return a substring from index a up to index b okay so here is an example we i take two string string str equal to hello world okay this is a one string and i want to extract some string from this so i have to we have to write system dot out print ln str dot substring dot substring is a method then we give it a index like to start from zero and go up to five so it will start from zero from zero index here is h then one index is e l l o so the five index is completed so it returns our display hello okay in the next example we want to execute the word so for this we have to type system dot out print and str dot substring index seven and goes up to the length of the string it's mean that rest of the length rest of the string we have to we have to just start from the seven index and goes to the end str dot length it's mean we have to go to the end of the statement okay so the end of the statement is up to d so if we start counting from zero so h on zero e one l l two three four five and six space is also counted and w is an on seven index okay so it will start from w and go up to d searching from a substring if you want to search a so it is also possible for this the syntax is str named at index up okay and then the string substring like in this example str string str equal to hello world so system dot out print and str dot index up okay this is the syntax so we are just want to to point out the index up comma okay so it's return 5 it's mean that the comma is in an index number 5 in the next example system dot out print ln str dot index up w o it's mean w o start from which index so it's return 7 it's mean the w o is in an 7 index in the last example we are just point out the q so if you uh, if you look and there is no q in the sun in the string so it's return minus one it's mean not found another is okay so now you have to search substring from the index from the one index to the another index okay in this example str hello world so system dot out print and then str dot substring from 0 to 5 it's mean in the given string give me from 0 to 5 so it will display hello and 